Welcome back to Arc Southeast Texas. We already got Jade going on this one. There's been a controversial theory about a mysterious object in space hurtling towards Earth. People are speculating that aliens will be here in November. Well, Will Young is here to discuss this theory and also tell us about a stargazing event happening this weekend. I must be living under some kind of rock. Yeah. I have not heard anything about this. Yeah, well, it's it's something that, you know, comes and goes every once in a while. True. And so astronomers, you know, we always have fun with these kind mm -hmm. of things because while it could be aliens, it's usually not, which is oh, you know, kind of a, <laughs> over here. I hate to disappoint you, but um, this one's actually really cool. I think uh, fact is stranger than fiction on this one. This is uh, a comet from another star system. So our sun has comets. Uh, you know, we get a comet every few years or so, naked eye in the sky or with a telescope. Well, this one came from another star completely. So our sun is a star. You know, mm -hmm. like when you go outside and you see all the stars in the sky, those are other people's, or if they live there, if they're aliens, <laughs> those are other people's suns. Okay. Um, and they have comets around them, and sometimes those comets get flung out into interstellar space. And every once in a while, we get a close call with one. Yeah. Uh, this is the third time that we know of. However, it's probably been happening for eons. Right. Mm. And when you think of, okay, number one, I don't even like to think of space because my mind, like, I cannot... Mm -hmm comprehend, and I think this is for most people, comprehend yes. how large space is yeah. and what's yes. going on out there. None of it makes sense, and I don't think we're supposed to even, you know, comprehend all of it, because it's just, yeah. my brain ain't them, <laughs> it's not that big. None of ours is, that's true. Yeah, yeah. okay, yeah. at least I'm not alone. No, you're not So, uh, when you think about, you know, how small Earth is and all that junk out there that's floating about and flying through, hmm. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of stuff out there, but I think that's, like, for people like me, that's the fascinating part about yeah, it, is right. It's literally a never-ending treasure trove of, of weird stuff out there. Yeah. With James Webb and with Hubble, the telescopes that we have out in space, we just keep you know, discovering new stuff, and that keeps opening up more possibilities for where our solar system came mm -hmm. from, where it might be going. Um, so there's just a, it's, there's a lot going on out there. And like you said, it can be overwhelming, but it's like small bites, you know, you, yeah. I guess you eat the elephant one bite at a time, they say, yeah. so, but it's See, a big elephant out there. Yeah, it all seems a little bit scary to me. So what, why, do, why are people saying like, oh, this is an alien? Yeah, where does that, where does that come from? <laughs> well, there's a, there's a group of people that everything in the night sky is an alien. Oh, okay. Uh, every okay. satellite you see, every shooting star, it doesn't matter, it's an alien. Uh, and one particular guy from Harvard uh, likes to sell books. And so every once in a while when we see one of these things come through, he's like, oh, hey, look at it. it's It's behaving differently. It's mm -hmm. not. It's just from another star system. So it's really fast. I think I did the math on it. It's like 140,000 miles per hour. Wow. Is how fast this thing oh, is moving through slow. our solar system. It's yeah, yeah, slow. just a little slow. So to give you an example, like satellites, stuff around Earth mm -hmm. orbits at like 17,000 miles per hour. So mm -hmm. this is 140,000 miles per hour. So it's moving through our yeah. solar system very quickly uh, and but what's cool is when you look at it with the Hubble telescope it's actually a comet it's mm -hmm. actually got a little nucleus with a, a nice little tail mm -hmm. coming off and so I mean all a comet is is uh, imagine a dirty snowball in space if you get that too close to the Sun or close enough it'll start to release yeah the stuff inside of it and that gets blown away from the star or the Sun okay. And that's your comet's tail. And so when this thing came through, we took a good look at it with Hubble, which is still operating after all these years. It's amazing. Yeah. Uh, and it's a, lo and behold, it's a comet. Now, what's interesting is it's a new type of comet. It's coming from another star system. Okay. It's an interstellar comet, not like the movie, mm -hmm. but like the comet. Right. Um, so we have a whole new letter designation for these things. Hmm. Uh, we used to have two types of comets. Now we have a third. Mm -hmm. uh, so you'll see the name is like three slash I, and that I is interstellar. The three is the third one we've discovered. This is number three. I think the first one, 2017, and then a couple more. And so what, what's happening is we're looking at the sky more with bigger telescopes, with better equipment. Mm -hmm. So we're seeing more. Yeah. And so we're starting to see these things as they come in. Interesting. Okay. So they said, kind of mentioned November, tossing that around. So does that mean, is that when we're going to see it or it has the potential to that's when the alien mothership will land on the okay uh, no, I'm just kidding uh, that's that's <laughs> when like, it's at its, yeah that's when it's at its closest approach to earth okay um when it could possibly be seen by a telescope I'm skeptical I use the scope a lot yeah. and mm -hmm. uh comets are already tough uh -huh. I think this one's going to be pretty tough but you might be seeing photographs from amateurs amateur astronomers like me 
uh, who just threw their scope out in the backyard, took a picture, and mm -hmm. there it was, you know. Yeah. So we'll see how that goes. So okay. maybe in November I'll come back and we'll update on on that, I don't yeah. know. So com I, there's a famous saying by David Levy, he's a famous comet hunter, uh, comets are like cats. Mm -hmm. They have tails and they do what they want. Okay. So all right. All right. we'll see what happens. We'll let the comet decide how things go. Okay, cool. okay, exciting. So what's, real quick, what's happening this weekend? So this uh, Friday night uh, at Terrell Park, uh, the, the, the park is putting on a little uh, star party. Oh, and cool. if you're not sure with what a star party is, uh, the general public shows up, people like me who have telescopes, mm -hmm. we bring those out and we show what's in the night sky. You won't see this comet, unfortunately, but uh, we will see some other cool stuff, like some maybe some galaxies, star clusters, nebulas, things like that. Oh, we yeah, love neat. star parties. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Okay, so all ages, uh, definitely welcome. It says bring a flashlight. Red light preferred? Yeah, red light preferred. If you shine white light, we're going to ask you to turn it okay. off because the point of a star party is to see the night sky, and it's kind of mm -hmm. hard with, uh, you know, cell phone yeah. lights and everything yeah. else out. Uh, you probably won't need any light to see because of, you know, how Beaumont yeah. is, let's be real. But... Mm -hmm. Uh, it'll be cool because, you know, uh, even with there's a little bit of clouds, we might still be out there with our scopes to kind of show you how a telescope works. You'll be able to see one up close. Uh, but hopefully if the weather's clear, we'll be able to uh, see something cool in the sky. Right. Maybe even aliens. Who knows? Oh, okay. You got to go to find out. There you go. All right. Sounds like it's very exciting. So that'll be a, a good event there. And yeah, maybe we'll talk back in, in November again, whenever. Sure. The aliens We're still alive. land their mothership. And all yeah. That yeah. Stuff. yeah. And, and I can, we can either be wrong or we can be right about it not being aliens, but I guess we'll find out. So only time will tell. Oh. Yeah, anything's possible. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Ooh, War of the worlds. Uh, <laughs> okay.